Hello friends. And with me today I have the pedal that everyone has been all a buzz about, the Strymon Compadre. And let's see if it lives up to all the hype that it's getting on the forums these days. Uh, spoiler, yeah, it does. Uh, second spoiler, you've been looking for these online. We have them at moreguitars.com and more music in Evansville, Indiana. So let's go through it real quick. The main thing that impresses me about this pedal is that it is far and away the best transparent compressor that I've ever seen in a guitar pedal. Uh, I used studio compressors for a long time in my rig because I just did not like that spongy sound that most guitar foot pedal compressors give you. Um, with the slow attack, you know, the, it's, it really emphasizes the attack, the release is spongy on it. Um, I know for certain styles of playing it's become kind of a trope, but for me, I like compression that sounds like tube compression when you've got an amp just totally maxed out. And that's what this gives you, plus in addition has got an excellent clean boost with three different EQ settings on it. Um, let's run through it real quick. First of all, this is what I'm starting with on uh, my old trusty Marshall JCM 600 combo. I'm using the clean channel of it, which to me is, a, is very bland by itself, but I've got it cranked up to just the edge of breakup. <laughs> So that's my starting point there. Let's take a look at what the clean boost is going to do to that sound. And in the three EQ modes we have, I've got it on flat right now. I think that works well for this particular guitar that's a little bit bright anyway. And we can drive a little bit more gain out of it. I mean, that turned a bland amp into something that uh, is very nice sounding. Uh, I'm gonna go to the mid boost uh, on the EQ section over here. Only affects your sound whenever you're in boost mode but it is going to emphasize the mids a little bit here. <laughs> That's very nice too. Um, you can tell that in this amplifier that extra emphasis on the mids is really getting a little bit more gain out of it. Uh, it has a high frequency boost on it as well that doesn't do quite as much for me on this guitar, but when we look at it with single coils, it might be better. A little harsh on this guitar here, but we've got things cranked up there. Now, I'm gonna set it back to flat here, turn the boost off, let's just go to the compression side. And again, I'm going to turn the level down. This is the makeup gain for the compressor circuit uh, so that we're kind of close to unity. It's not exactly unity when it's straight up, but I wanted to just show you how transparent this compressor is. with it off. I mean, a big difference there. This is based more on, I would say, a circuitry that's similar to like an LA-2A studio compressor in that it doesn't have that slow attack that really emphasizes the picking sound of your notes. Um, 
I would put money on that this is a program dependent compressor where the more you feed it, uh, the more of uh, your compression ratio in increases. That's what I'm getting out of this. I'm going to sweep it around just a little bit uh, so you can see what we're actually getting out of the compressor here. And really max it out here. That cannot be beat in a pedal. I absolutely love that. Now, if you do like the sound of, you know, like the Keeley MXR Dynacomp, things like that, it does have a mode here and it is called Squeeze. And you'll see a little bit more of those type of artifacts I was talking about. I'm gonna mid it out here a little bit. And for that type of sound, not bad. Those compressors never did a lot for me, but back in the studio mode, this is where it's at. Now, just with your makeup gain, you can get a good boost out of just this side of it. Even fast picking, slow picking, sustained notes. This is transparent. Cranked all the way. <laughs> oh man, I am digging this. I can see why some people are calling it the always on pedal. I would be using this all the time in my rig. Okay, one additional feature that we have here is it does have a soft clipping diode circuit that is on top that can be engaged. And on your boost side, it will add a little bit of grit in here. Crank this a bit. And let me go to a lead pickup here and see what that does. And with the mid boost circuit on here. Now, that's not a bad overdrive sound. That's not what this pedal's for. Um, it's a nice addition to here. But this clean boost, in addition to the compressor, are just... with nothing. I mean, compressor, boost, lots of makeup gain, everything's coming from the tubes in the amp on a very bland channel. This is a sweet pedal. Let's take a quick look at what it does with single coils. Okay, so I'm here with my Strat-like object. It does have the Seymour Duncan SSL 157 Strat pickups in it, uh, sound that I really like. Let's hear it through this bland amp channel here. Mm 
Now, let's engage the sweet studio compressor. Okay, that I just love this compressor in here. Um, let's see what it does with the boost here, and this is with the flat EQ setting. <laughs> I mean, it just brings life to a dull amp sound. Absolutely love this. Now, we haven't got into this, and I think the going to the squeeze compressor type will give me a good usage for the mix control on here. So you can incorporate some of your dry signal in. Um, something that a lot of compressors uh, are doing these days. For one thing, you will notice this. And another thing that you didn't see all of that hum increased in the studio compressor because it's program com dependent. On the squeeze compressor, just like a typical pedal, the hum goes away on your attack, creeps back in. Uh, but we can deal with that by using our dry control over here. I'm gonna put it about a 50-50 mix here. But, I have to go back to this. This is what makes this pedal so special. That is just a sweet compressor. I'm going to crank the level on this. I'm going to turn it so it's full wet. I'm going to add the boost in as well and just really drive this thing. Oh man. Okay, this is it. This is what you've been looking for. We've got it. Moreguitars.com and more music in Evansville, Indiana. The compadre from Strymon, the pedal that you will always keep on. Give the guys moreguitars.com a call. Talk to them about this pedal or any pedal. They're the pedal experts. They will fix you up with a perfect match for your playing style. So, till next time, have a great day, and we'll see you soon.